Major State Oil Company is renegotiating commercial contract terms with major oil firms in a move that it hopes will keep investment flowing into a sector crucial for its economy at a time when spending is being slashed. Africa's largest oil exporter and biggest economy relies on the oil sector for half of its budget and 90% of its foreign exchange. It wants to raise revenue but also attract investment. Nigeria's state oil company is renegotiating the terms of its commercial contracts with major oil companies, according to its managing director, in a move aimed at keeping money flowing into the economically vital sector amidst a price collapse. Our environment has changed. Yeah, some... Mele Kiari, who leads the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, or NNPC, said Big Oil would not invest unless it was getting an appropriate margin. But we are very conscious of the fact that people have choices. Companies do make choices to leave countries uh, when they have to. But we know that some of them will still stay. Prices of oil fell sharply last year, though markets have since recovered. Nigeria, Africa's biggest oil exporter, relies on the sector for half its budget and 90% of its foreign exchange. But oil companies, including Royal Dutch Shell, ExxonMobil and Total, are cutting billions in spending, shifting money to renewable fuels and focusing on the most cost-effective markets. Kiari declined to say what was specifically being negotiated, but said that new terms would be finalized before a pending oil overhaul bill is passed. The legislation, which Nigeria's parliament has promised to pass by May, is expected to define the sector for decades to come. But companies have criticized a draft for, amongst other issues, not doing enough to attract development dollars. Companies will have the freedom to select between uh, remain under the commercial arrangement or to move into the new fiscal arrangement. Kiari said the NNPC, which is already planning an overhaul of its Port Harcourt facility, would be seeking financing of up to $2 billion for its Wari and Kaduna refineries. The three refineries, which have a combined capacity of 445,000 barrels per day, were shut down last year until much needed maintenance, repair, and upgrades are completed. They have not operated at full capacity for decades, but NNPC hopes extensive works can cut Nigeria's hefty fuel import costs. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.